Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and as you can see here, this video is going to be about OBS CPU encoding versus NVIDIA encoding versus the new NVIDIA encoding. And we're just going to see if the performance drop is less. How I'm going to do this is by looking at task manager so cpu and gpu usage obs says 8.8 percent .8 cpu usage the obs i'm using by the way because if you think why does it look so weird is streamlabs obs um, my specs are down in the description if you're wondering so now we are encoding with my i7 8700k and yeah let me test some games okay so first off we're gonna start with a light game and for that, I chose Counter-Strike. Okay, so 20% if I do this. No FPS drops at all, though. But it's CSGO, okay? It's CSGO. 40% CPU use, its highest was like 80. GPU idling about 35. Let me go to settings. Double buffered. I'm gonna disable this. Apply. Oh, God. Yes, GPU is now at 80%. Oh, God. And 25% was the highest, and CPU is also on 80%. I maybe should add an FPS counter. Yes, okay, so we have 280 FPS with 75% GPU usage, 34 CPU usage right now. Uh, goes to 77 if I do this. <laughs> and OBS is not dropping a frame, so that is 285 FPS plus 30 FPS for OBS. And now I'm going to record with the old NVIDIA encoding. Okay, so I'm back with the NVIDIA encoding, the old one. And uh, let's see what happens. Because in this screen, I'm only having 4% CPU usage instead of 9. 5% not even CPU usage, no FPS drops yet. GPU is 83% right now. And CPU is 73%. It's around 70 to 80% right now. GPU is maximum 94%. Okay, so no frame drops as I can see. RAM still the same. So yeah, let me now go to the new NVIDIA encoding. Okay, so now I'm back and we are averaging about 4.5% CPU. Total is 44 to 50%. And GPU is at 35% right now. This is how I would play, by the way, because I wouldn't play on unlimited FPS anyway. And no frame drops, as expected. Top was around 60% peak CPU and maybe 45% peak GPU. So GPU is averaging 74%. CPU is now 25% averaging to 43%. And in OBS, it's maximum five and a half, I think I've seen. 274 FPS, no frame drops, 82% CPU peak, I saw that, and around 92% peak on the GPU. So that is CSGO. Now the next game we're gonna do is BeamNG Drive. So I'm gonna switch back to X264. For this one, I actually have an idea. We're gonna use Cam to see exactly the stats. And the color is gonna be blue. I guess. Okay, so to test this, we're going on grid map because it's not too heavy, but with the unlimited FPS, of course, it's gonna be heavy, right? I live stream this game, by the way. Uh, turn VSync on, turn FPS limiter off. So we are playing at 60 FPS, okay? CPU in OBS is having a little bit harder of a time. There is sound, indeed. It's an electric car. We're averaging 30%. While we crash, what happens? Oh. Okay, well that was amazing. Eight times slow-mo while we crash. 25%, yeah, 30% CPU, 59% GPU, and no frame drops in OBS. Let me spawn two other cars. Okay, it's gonna be red now, then I'm gonna activate them. Well, GPU is around 80%. If I crash into one of them, the CPU use will go up. Around 70% GPU, and 40% CPU. Now what I'm gonna do, turn off VSync. 
So now we're running 126 FPS. OBS is dropping two frames of the 30. I can tell by my OBS preview, which is also a rendering, of course. You can turn off the preview, but we don't want that. As you can see, the GPU is 79%, so that's why it's being limited. 40% CPU, 44% peak. We're still having 104 FPS in game, so I'm running smooth. The FPS is in OBS is just shit. So that is with CPU encoding. Okay, so I'm gonna be back with the nvidia encoding the old one we're in game again and gpu is 71 percent right now cpu is around 21 percent to 10 percent actually okay so 61 percent usage here because there's less stuff i guess and 11 percent on the total to 20 percent in obs it's five to six percent now i'm gonna spawn two other cars as i did before okay so around 80 percent GPU, 21%, 25% CPU, 86% GPU now. Turn off the V-Sync. And as you can tell, we're lacking three frames almost. Oh, more, almost eight. We're only driving alone. I'm still going 108 FPS. The 20 FPS in OBS says enough. It's not good for the recording. Only 7.5% CPU usage though, 97 to 98% usage and GPU, CPU is almost 30% usage. Okay, so I am back with the new NVIDIA encoding. Just keep in mind that my bitrate settings is on CBR 20K bitrate, okay? So for all of the free tests, I use 20,000 bitrate. Five and a half CPU to six on OBS itself. Total, it's 14 to 20%. GPU is 66% right now. Going to 70, of course, because I'm moving really quick. CPU is only 10%. GPU 70%, CPU 20%, so almost 80% at 60 FPS. Okay, so now I'm gonna disable the V-Sync and GPU is 97%, CPU is about 30%. We're having some frame drops, uh, only one frame right now, uh, to four frames I can tell, or six. And now I'm gonna remove the other cars. Maybe that will help me a bit. 25 FPS to 30 FPS right now on the new NVIDIA encoding. CPU is 20%, so I think that's the same as with the old NVIDIA encoding. So I think this is a little bit better than the previous, but that was uh, Beam and G, so that's our second game we tested. Now for the last game, I wanna go into GTA 5. Okay, so CPU encoding, V-Sync is off. Uh, we're having some interesting 5 FPS frame drops to 7 FPS, I think. 99% GPU usage. Oh god, oh god, oh god, wheel spin, please. Uh oh. Whoa, okay. Uh, CPU is 45% average. <coughs> okay, now let me go to the NVIDIA encoding. Okay, so we're having straight up. 30 FPS in OBS, uh, but we're also locked to 30 in game. Wait a second. No, okay, we're just having bad FPS in game, I guess. It is real close to 30 though. What is happening? Is well, let me turn off VSync. Okay, so 99% GPU. So no FPS drops. 30% CPU usage, 98% to 99% GPU usage. Let me go to the new NVIDIA encoding. I'm seeing a 10 FPS, 11 FPS drop. V-Sync is still off in game. We're going 55 to 52 FPS. The recording is going uh, a bit less, as you can see. So there's no way I could be streaming GTA at 60 FPS gameplay. Oh my God, what did he do? 26 FPS in OBS, 21% CPU usage, 31% apparently, 99% GPU usage still. Okay, so we're having no frame drops anymore on OBS, well, as little, and in game I'm still going 55 FPS. So yeah, that is GTA for the results with VSync on, on these free games for CSGO, this encoder is the best one.
And for VSync on with Beam and G, this encoder is the best one. This one has the least frame drops on OBS. Now without VSync for CSGO, this encoder is the best one. And without VSync for Beam and G, this one is the best one. And without VSync for GTA, it's the same as the first one. If you have any more games that you want me to test, see what bitrate is the best, comment it down below. If you want to know how to record with multiple audio tracks and want a tutorial on that, comment it down below as well. I may be doing that. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe and peace out, guys. Peace. Drive hard. Drive Mustang.